Now, with the summer upon us, lots of us will be hoping for a chance to explore the great outdoors. And for many young people, this does mean taking part in activities such as scouting. Gemma Bradley's joined one Belfast group aiming to open up that world to a whole new audience. It's estimated that each week up to half a million young people take part in scouting projects. But today I'm meeting one scout group aiming to open up the world of exploration and adventure to a wider audience. The 117th Belfast Islamic Centre Scouts is one of 70 such Muslim groups across the UK. But it is the first of its kind here in Northern Ireland. It was the brainchild of Amir Ibrahim. So why did you set up a scout group specifically for young Muslims? And I can see there is more migrant people coming over, a lot of different ethnic groups coming over as well, but there is nothing for the youth. So you want to keep them in a safe environment where they can learn skills. And the scouts will be the best thing. The Islamic values is not much different. It's always about how to be a good person, how to help others, how to integrate, how to respect, and how to have a teamwork. The only difference, for example, in a few details, like for example, when we do the promise, we call the Almighty God, Allah. As with all scouting, the idea is that the youngsters here will learn and experience new things, which is hope will provide them with useful skills that will stay with them for life. But they also provide the facilities so that the Muslim youngsters can practice their faith alongside building courage and team spirit. All the food is halal compliant. Activities are planned around prayer times. We pray five times a day. So all the prayers linked with the sun. The first one has to be before, before the sunrise, and then the sunset, and then the night one when the, the reddish goes out in the sky. And there's access to equipment to perform rituals to prepare for prayer. If you know there is water here, you can pray your optional prayer. We're going to start soon. We call it wudu. The essential of this is to clean our heart. Our heart will be pure and clean. So you should be inside like outside. But it's not all about religious observance. Half two to three, we have archery. The careful planning that has gone into this camp means there's plenty of time to take up new challenges. Shut up, I just got ten. And it's even encouraged me to have a go, although I'm not sure my scouting skills are up to scratch. It's not as easy as it looks. These kids are so brave. If you go just slightly above the 10. I'll go down Okay. Oh, I'm really not good at aim at all. But it's also been about taking time out and forming friendships. My confidence has went up mm -hmm. because now I can approach people more easily. It was a good time just de-stress from school and um, seeing my friends. And for Amir, all of the hard work has been worth it. Okay. Hooray! People are smiling, having fun and happy, you know, they're making friends. With the first campus success, it seems everyone will be looking forward to the next one.